Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome back to more Nino Cooney. Oh, dear. All right, so I did some stuff in my off time. I finally got my hands on a little on a little horn who is ready to evolve. I'll probably do that in a bit. Uh, I want to boost his stats up a little more. Or I'll just evolve him and boost his stats up then. I got him caught up to level 14. He's level 18. I, up, I uh, boosted him. So now he's evolved into Strongo. He's kind of a beast. And I'm starting to regret ever getting Greater Griffey, because he is a fucking monster. Jesus. Uh, I hope he doesn't break the game too much, but I have a I have a very strong feeling he's going to end up breaking this game. Because it seems like Esther's main habit is to pull him out whenever uh, magic isn't working. And the second he comes out, uh, health bars tend to fucking melt. But it's fine. It's just, it's just fine. We're more than powerful enough. I feel confident enough to finish this off because we got other things we got to take care of before we get too comfortable. Uh, the big one, mind you, is uh, we got to finish this place out, don't we? Um, I don't know what it wants me to. Oh, I, I'm surprised that actually worked. Oh, all right, so this is, oh, okay. Well, that was a big one. Oh man, oh man, oh man, if we don't stop this old boy erupting soon, we can kiss our sorry butts goodbye. But let's stop it. That's easier said than done, Ollie boy. If my seventh sense is to be trusted, we've got three minutes, three flipping minutes. By crikey, only three, three, three! So we've got three minutes, I take it? Hang on, that's no time at all, are you absolutely sure? Do I look like I'm flipping, messing around? Three minutes, I said, three minutes, I meant it. Three short minutes to stop this thing from erupting. Don't worry, Mr. Drippy, we'll make it, I know we will. Now you better hope. We got three short minutes to make this happen. There we go. So battles don't decrease the timer uh, getting knocked off will and taking detours will. Which is good. It's nice to know battles don't decrease the fucking timer. Uh, until I find myself... I know Mighty isn't, like, the greatest. Apparently, he's not really good. I guess, long term, he's kind of mediocre. But until I find something that really sticks out to me... Spe to oh, okay. Wow, you... Wow, you... Wow, okay. You know... <laughs> Maybe they weren't kidding. Maybe you do kind of break the game. But, you know what? Why not? Fuck it. The game, let me have it. You're gonna give it to me, and... You know, I, I only just saw that, you, that he was the only good one out the bunch. I guess Golden Mighty is just gold and has slightly better stats. At least that's what it told me, so... Wow. Yeah, for the little bighorn, the the new one I picked up, that thing apparently only has like an eight percent chance that he'll actually like be able to be persuaded to join you. So yeah, it took a while. It took it took me quite a few battles after I ended the video for him to finally like concede. Um, never a fan of those kind of things. I don't like. Uh, I, I'm. I mean. I'm okay with like having to grind it out, but man, I wasn't expecting such a low, such a low rate. But I mean, 
I guess that's, I mean, how low is 8% really? I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure if shiny Pokemon had an 8% chance, people would be all about that. 8% chance can't be that bad. You know what I mean? Like, I guess 8% isn't really, it's tedious, mind you, but it's probably not the worst it could possibly be. So let's get to the top up here and be done with this nonsense. Uh, let's see here. Magic. Uh, frostbite. I love the fact that Oliver is still casually jumping across these, uh, these gaps, these gaps, despite there being massive pools of lava, and Oliver's like, yeah, this should be fine. We'll be fine. She must be out of MP. That's gotta be it. No, I guess not. Because he's casting. I mean, if he's willing to cast, he, she must not be that low. I'm probably going to wait to metamorphose him until I know if he learns any other skills. I got like, what, 90 something seconds, I think? Or something stupid like that. Here we go. Here we go. Apparently, I'm only going to. Apparently, I'll probably only have just bare seconds to spare, even if done right. Always fun. Wow. You know, uh, look, am I gonna take it away from her? I mean, no. I don't. I don't see myself doing that. That that seems silly. Why would I take away something that she's clearly good with? Oh, whirly gig. Okay, so I got just over a minute and a half. Well, now I have. Yeah, I just. Oh, I'm just under a minute and a half. This again? Alright, as long as we don't get knocked off, we should be fine, right? Uh, probably, yeah, about to say, probably not safe to try to get across that one, especially if I just now saw it. There we go. Nearly there, man. Seems as good as a place any to stop. The old drippy clock. Let's see now. There we go. But I thought you said we only had three minutes. I distinctly remember you saying it several times, in fact. Well, yes, I did, but it was more of an estimate, see? To give you something to work towards, like... Wait, what? I guess it helped us get up here quicker, huh, Mr. Drippy? Exactly, that's what I meant, eh? But you made it. You made us think that... Ugh. Never mind, I suppose at least we're here now. We better go have a look at the crater. Wow, okay. Not gonna save it, cause I sh you know what, fuck it, I'ma save it. Uh, here, number five. Might as well. I don't wanna risk not saving it. Probably miss, I think I missed an item on this mountain, but we should be fine. On the top of old Smokey at last. Wow. It's like... It's like the end of the world. Crikey, look at that boulder, man. It's like I said, it's come unstuck. How the heck did that even happen? Wait. Look, what's that? You came, boy. As I knew you would. Is that... Crikey is flipping sh sh shadar Shadar? Huh? <laughs> I have a little trial of my own for you.
Meet Moltan, Lord of the Lava. So, for this, I'm probably going to be having a... Uh, Oliver, uh... Whoa, not that. We want spells. Even big beasties like these have a weak spot, Ollie boy. Try to get around the back of it and attack its tail. Oh, that's not good. Wow, gr wow, Griffy is fucking this dude up. He is getting ruined. Oh my god, that is that is absurd how much damage he's actually doing. Uh, let's go healing touch Esther. And this should do it. Boom. Dealt with. Nice. I mean, not bad. I'm not going to complain. Spire of Fire. All right. Good shit. Moltan. The smoke has stopped. I think we fixed it. You did it, Oliver. You saved Alma Moon. Yeah, but what about Shada? Don't go getting ahead of yourself, man. You're nowhere near ready to face him yet. Didn't you feel the power coming off him? Terrifying it was. I was so worried he was going to steal a piece of my heart again. But he just sort of left us alone, didn't he? I wouldn't say that exactly. He was the one controlling that fiery guardian. And you can bet this whole mess was thanks to him and all. You really think all this was Shada's work? Of course it was. Who else would do something so flippin' rotten? I reckon we had a lucky escape. I had no idea. Thank you so much for sealing the volcano back up. But, but, you don't need to thank me, Esther. Of course I do. Without you, my hometown would have been destroyed. You saved all the people. But Esther, you... You weren't exactly standing on the sidelines, were you? Don't let the old pure of heart take all the glory. I suppose I did a little. Well, shall we head back to Al Moon? Al Al Mamoon? Yeah, sure. Sure, let's go tell him about how brave you were. Yeah, Griffy is apparently a fucking beast. Then again, you look at his fucking stats, and it becomes really fucking clear why he's such a goddamn beast. Motherfucker was... Like, that boss was a cake. Now, granted, look. I am bustedly powerful. And I didn't do much. Like, even without Griffy's help, I don't think that fight would have been that much harder. So, I, while, I, while I am going to give credit where credit is due, I don't necessarily think that is entirely to blame. But, 
You you can draw your conclusions however you please. That is fine. Anyways, there's only one item. It's a piece of gear. I don't care. We're gonna go back. It wasn't, it was clearly, it's not vital to my ability. And if I need it that bad, I can always come back up here and get it. All right, so I will make him evolve now because it looks like he's learned everything he's capable of learning. It's max level, it's max level is not very, Max level is way off, fuck. Yeah, I guess I'll do it now. It's already learned everything it can possibly learn anyways. I might as well just get that out the way. And I'll probably buy some more stuff here. Got this. Boost that shit. I might start boosting, like, your accuracy? Well, all right. What what is this new trick you learned? Is it an, a magic attack or is it a uh, like what is it? Oh, it's a straight up. It's a straight up magic attack. I didn't think it was gonna be a straight magic attack. I think it's a straight magic attack. Is it a straight magic attack? <laughs> no, it's not. It's still a weapon attack. I should have known better. I don't think I don't think they do the thing where like a physical has like a straight magic attack. Okay, cool. That's nice to know. Uh here. First stages are always kind of rough. Once you get them once you get them past their first stage, they start getting a lot better. And he's become Bighorn. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna see we're gonna see some nice stat growth now. His stat growth is gonna be much better. So I'll have to take some time to get him caught up. So that'll be fun. He might not get used like immediately. He's more of a work in progress until I come up with some better ones. Haven't quite decided. It's like part of part of me wants to follow the crowd and like mid max the fuck out of it. The other part of me is like play for fun. But then it's like, but the mid max crowd seems like they have so much more fun when they break the game. I have I haven't really decided how I want to go about playing this shit. So our first goal is to go back to Al Mamun. Al Mamun, yeah. Al Mamun. I have I, I don't know how to say Al Moon. Alamoon? Al Alamoon. I'm not sure. I'm probably saying it wrong. I'm sure I'm saying it wrong. Look, it's gonna be weeks before you guys even see this video. This is really just me having a good time playing a fucking video game at this point. Nice. Yeah, I can definitely see what her strategy is. It's exhaust your magic ability. Oh, okay, yeah, there there we go. That's the, those are the kind of stat gains you expect. So yeah, we're just gonna make our way back to town. Now, my next plan of action is we're gonna take care of whatever event happens in town. And then I'm gonna take us back to see the uh, old tree. Because going back and talking to him is going to trigger another event over there as well. Mostly it's us coming back and showing him how much we've changed since the last time we saw him. Remember, last time we saw him, we just got familiars. Well, now we have a new companion. So let's go back and visit him, right? I don't know if he gives me anything. But I know we got something for the last time I did it. So 
Might as well, right? And not to mention, this is just going to give me more time in between episodes to uh, finish up questing around this area. Because there's still there's a handful of quests I need to actually finish. Mr. Rashad, you have returned. Does this mean you have completed the trials? Yes, sir. And Master Solomon taught us a whole bunch of neat stuff. I'm happy for you, but this is no time for celebrations. The city is in grave danger. The volcano is... Uh, don't worry your pretty head about that, your sage ship. We sorted that out while we were at it. You... But how? It's quite a story, Father. You see... So not only did you succeed in completing the trials, you also prevented the volcano from erupting? That is quite a tale. It would seem that you have potential greater than even I imagined. But for Shaddaa himself to have appeared, it seems his game has entered into its next phase. I must look into this. Thank you, Mr. Rashad, sir. We should get back to our journey. Do we have to, Ollie boy? I'm flippin' knackered, man. Can't we stop by here for a bit and have a nice ba babana or two? There's no time, Mr. Drippy. The, the, the other towns could be in danger. Mr. Rashad, I need to learn more magic. I need more powerful spells. You have proven your ability. You overcame the trials and saved the city. I have nothing more to teach you. You will learn more, Oliver, but you will learn much of it for yourself as your journey continues. I will? Yet, there is a limit to what can be learned without instruction. Very well. You must visit my fellow great sages. You must learn what they have to teach you. He's right, Ollie boy. Shada is one tough cookie. You'll need all the help you can get if you're going to beat him. But where can we find the other great sages? Alicia, she's she was once fought along she once fought alongside me, fell foul of Shada, and her soul was sealed away. But there are two more. They are out there somewhere. There is useful somewhere, huh? To sage, sage face, fat lot of use you are. I don't know where their exact about whereabouts are. But I believe one of them resides in the city of Hamelin, on the continent of Otomi, of Otima? Otomi? Ot Ot whatever. That's far away to the east. You'll need a boat to get there. So you'll need to go to Castaway Cove. It's the closest port. To reach it, you must cross the desert to the south of here. Cross the desert to the south, huh? Is it far away? Don't worry, Oliver. I'll show you the way. Esther, you mean... Yes, I'm coming with you. We travel together from now on. But are you sure? Of course I am. We're both fighting for the same thing, aren't we? And you already know how helpful having me around can be. You bet I do. Mr. Rashad, is it alright if Esther comes with us? Hmm, I know my daughter. There's no stopping her when she sets her mind on something. I have little choice but to agree. Esther, you must make yourself useful to Oliver. You must not become a burden to him. Of course I won't. I'm a great sage's daughter. Hmm, <laughs> truly you are. Then it's decided, Oliver. Take care of my daughter. I will, sir. <laughs> Look after me, won't you, Oliver? All right, so at this point in the game, fellas, you got a couple of options. You can continue the story. You can complete the rest of Swift Solutions as there'll be more quests available for you to complete now because of what we've done. Uh, stuff opens up as you complete elements of the story. However, what we're gonna be doing before we do any of that is we're gonna go back to the Great Oak. So uh, I'm gonna cut this and I'm gonna get us back to that forest right quick. So. Uh, yeah, be right back. Jesus. That is that is quite a trek to get all the way back here. So uh which way is Alright, it's the up way. Got it, got it. It's this way. All that traveling just to get back here for this.
Hello, old Father Oak. Oh, there you are again. How nice to see you. And how goes your journey? Tell me all about it. So, ho, ho. So it was Shada who caused Old Smokey to erupt. It sure was. And then a monster made of magma came out and... It did as well. Proper terrifying it was. Not that we were scared, like. Bash the beastie into submission and save the day. We did not bad. You're not bad, eh, your leafy ship? Ho, ho, ho. Well, now, confidence is certainly no bad thing. But do remember that pride comes before a fall, won't you? Your journey is a dangerous one and life is fragile. I see. I shall give you something to help protect yourself in battle. Nice. All right. I thought he had something to say. I guess I have to come back here sooner. Oh, well. So there you go. There you go. We got some phoenix leaves. I guess I got some phoenix feathers. I guess it was semi-worth it. Not really. Those aren't that expensive. And I have tons of money. But you know what? Seeing some extra dialogue doesn't hurt either. Anyways, guys. Next time on Nino Kuni, we'll be back in uh, Al Alamond. Alamond? Um, mm. Uh, point is, we'll be back in the desert and we'll make our way to the Cape. Until then, guys, stay tuned. I am signing out.